Welcome back to Newswatch and happy National Weather Persons Day. We appreciate all you do, even when you give us the forecast we don't really want. And I'm about to give you that yep. forecast. <laughs> but thank you, I appreciate it. Taking a look right now over in Glen Jean, we are seeing some wet roads out there. So definitely be careful as you head into work. Now, we are also starting off with some flood watches in effect for Nicholas Fayette, Raleigh, Wyoming, and McDowell counties. That will go into effect tonight at 7 o'clock. That will last until Friday morning at 7 a.m. So we will see some flooding as we go into the next couple of days. Doppler radar, we are starting to see a little bit of a break right now, a little bit of a dry break before that rain starts to move on in once again through the rest of the day. Now let's play a little game. Let's find the cold front. That's right. It's right here. 46 degrees in Fayetteville, 45 in Summersville. But go to Oak Hill and Beckley, 51 degrees. The rest of the area looking just as mild into the low to mid 50s. So not too bad out there. Fortunately, temperatures will warm up just a little bit and will stay in the low to mid 50s today. So taking a look at our future cast, we'll stay fairly dry as we go through the mid morning hours. And then notice those rain showers will become a little more scattered as we go through the rest of the day. And then we go into the evening and overnight hours. Can't rule out rumble or two or thunder as we go into the overnight hours. Of course, that rain will become a little more widespread and definitely a lot heavier and more steady. Temperatures warming on up once again tomorrow, sitting in the upper 50s and some low 60s. But there's all that heavy rain. And that's why we're under that fl uh, flood watch is because we will see some heavier downpours, which will cause some uh, ponding on the roadways and some streams and rivers to rise on up just a little bit. And then we go into here Friday and notice our temperatures starting to cool on down just a little bit back into the 30s and 40s. But that rain will stick around and eventually change into snow showers. We'll talk about that here in a second, though. How much rain can we see through the next couple of days? Well, as we go through the rest of the day today, and into tonight, we could see a half inch to an inch. And then we go through to the day tomorrow, could see about an inch to an inch and a half, maybe even two inches for some areas. So definitely want to be careful out there. Now back onto the snow. Now these are just estimates. Do not freak out quite yet. We're still a couple days away. But right now, looking into your early Saturday morning, it looks like we could see about a half inch to an inch, maybe even two inches for some areas. And then going throughout the rest of the weekend, looks like one to three inches for the general area, a little bit higher towards this higher elevation. So we will keep an eye on that. Once again, do not freak out quite yet. These are just estimates and we are still days away. So taking a look at your hour by hour planner, steady rain and mild conditions today, starting off a little dry for the mid morning hours, hours. But of course that rain will return, but those temperatures staying fairly nice into the low to mid 50. So the next seven days, I did increase those chances of rain through the next two days. We will continue to see those showers stick around and then we will see those snow showers move on in by your Friday. Temperatures cooling on down significantly and then of course rain to snow showers for your Saturday. Just a few morning snow showers for your Sunday drying out for a little bit before we start to see those rain showers move back on in but temperatures thankfully will be warming on up again as we go into the beginning of next week.